Hello and welcome to the 3D Rust tutorial. In today's video I'll be showing you how to create a simple teleport function in Unreal Engine. So this one's just going to cover entering a trigger box and you teleport to another point. Um, I do have a tutorial where you press a button to be able to teleport. You can use these things for ladders or to have an event where you have to press the button to teleport, um, which is a little bit more complex than this tutorial. So I'll leave a link in the top right, it should show up as a card, um, to be able to follow that tutorial if you like, or I'll add it at the end cards of this video, so you can check it out if you want to up your teleportation game. But let's jump right into this tutorial. So I'm going to start off with by creating a blueprint. So I'm going to right click and go to blueprint class. I'm going to choose an actor, and I'm just going to call it BP underscore trigger teleport and I'm just going to open this up and this is basically going to be our blueprint actor that we're going to use to handle our teleportation so for this I'm going to press add and I'm going to add a scene view and this is just going to be an empty object to define our spawn points and this is basically going to hold the trigger box and the end spawn location. So I'm just going to call this um, location one, location one, and I'm just going to duplicate that look and call it location two. So within them, I'm going to press add and I'm going to add a trigger, trigger box. I'm just going to add a box collision. And this is going to be our trigger. So I'm going to call this trigger one. And under that box collision, I'm going to scroll down and under collision presets, I'm going to select no collision, uh, sorry, custom collision, and I'm going to make it everything overlap. So this will send messages um, no matter what objects overlapping that boundary. And what I personally like to do under our locations scene, I also like to add a skeletal mesh. And this just gives me an idea of the character and where the, the boundary is, just when I'm moving things around, that's all. Um, normally you'd have like a particle effect or something there, but I'm just going to add Manny, our skeleton there. This just gives us a scale reference when we're working with things. And I'm just making sure they're both in location 1. And I'm just going to scale our trigger box up to 100. And I'm just going to pull it up to the surface. I'm also going to make sure our skeletal mesh has no collision because this is just a reference point. We don't want to be walking into it, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to copy these two and I'm going to paste it and put it inside of location two. And I'm going to call the box trigger two. Now we also need a location where the player is going to spawn out of. So I've set it up here as if we're going to have two locations to go backwards and forwards like portals. Uh, but if we teleport from portal 1 to portal 2, then we're going to be inside of portal 2, which is going to teleport us straight back to portal 1, and we're going to have an infinite loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sphere collision, and this is just going to be our marker of where the player is going to end up. So I'm just going to call this um, teleport marker and if it's for location one, we're just going to call it teleport marker one. And we're going to make sure it has no collision. And I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to add it to location two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of them. I'm just going to drag them in front of our triggers. I could compile and save that. So I know this might seem quite confusing at first, um, but it'll soon come together. So now if I go to my event graph, I'm going to select trigger one, and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see on component begin overlap, and I'm going to press plus here. So when component overlap, we want to teleport, but we want to tell it which object we want to check is overlapping. So other actor, we want to check other actor. 
because our player is not a component. A component is an individual object within inside a blueprint, such as the skeletal mesh, whereas an actor is the overall blueprint. So other actor equals equals. So check if the other actor is equal to right click and I'm going to type in player character. And I'm going to put the return value in the equals. So if the component that's over the actor that's overlapping is our character, we're going to do a branch. So I'm going to hold B and left click to add a branch so, and check are they equal? Connect that up. If true, then we want to teleport. So to do that, uh, we need to get our location that we want to teleport to. So if we're in the teleport location 1, we want to teleport to location 2. So I'm going to get the teleport marker 2. So I'm going to hold left click and drag that in and release. And we want to get the location of this in world space. So I'm just going to drag off this pin and let go and then type in get world transform. And I'm going to get that under the transformation section. Right, so we're going to move our character to this location. So we want to tell our character to move. So I'm going to bring off get player character and I'm going to type in set world transform. And then again under the transformation tab we want to set world transform. So when we are in trigger one, true, set the world transform of our player character. And we want to make sure it's the root component. If you don't get the option to set the root component, you might want to turn off context sensitive. And we're setting the transform of the player character to the transform of the teleport marker. What I like to do is split this. So if I right click the return value and split struct pin, and if I do the same on set world transform, I will hook up the location and rotation, but not the scale. Because if for some reason this has been scaled up by accident, we don't want to be scaling our player. So now we have that in box one. Is it the character? Yep. Set the characters will transform to the transform of the teleport marker. So now if I go into scene view, I've just moved that there off screen but what you want to do is if we select our blueprint actor in here and we drag it into the scene and we select location 2 for example and we just move this over here so this is going to be our second portal wherever we want to teleport to and we also want to make sure our teleport markers are away from the zone here that we are going to teleport inside of. Um, and one last thing to check, you want to make sure our triggers are set to query only, no physics collision. And we've got trigger again. This one's on no collision, so make sure it's query only. So the query is to check that we're overlapping, but it's not going to physically cause a barrier. So yeah, make sure you're on query only and make sure that overlap is ticked on pawn and compile and save. So now if I press play and walk into this zone, we now teleport to that area. And if I walk into this one, it doesn't do anything because we haven't set that up yet. But yep, as we walk into here, it'll take us to this point here. And yep, so if we save that, we just do exactly the same for the other one in our blueprint trigger. I'm just going to copy all of this code, copy, I'm going to paste it down here. And I'm going to select our trigger 2. I'm going to scroll down and on component begin overlap, press the plus. So when something is overlapping with our trigger 2, we want to check if it's the character. So other actor is the character, yes. We want to go a teleport marker 1. So I'm going to select teleport marker 1, set that to the world transform, hit compile, save. And now if I play, we walk into this boundary, we teleport here, walk into this boundary, teleport here. So yep, that's how you set up a 
basic teleport system in Unreal Engine. If you want to know how to do it by pressing a button, uh, please follow the tutorial that will be at the end of this video. Um, check out the Gumroad link in the description so you can see the code and check them out and other bits and pieces I'm going to publish there. One of which being an advanced teleporter pack. This is a project you can acquire that has many more features than what we went over here today as well as some fantastic customization that is easy to implement using variables I've exposed on the blueprint. It also features a picker where you can pick which teleporter you want to teleport to, allowing for limitless possibilities and making it way more flexible than the method we've used today. Check it out with my Gumroad link in the description or watch the overview video also linked below. Anyway, I hope this video or some of the resources I provided help you on your game dev journey. If you find any of them helpful, do give this video a like, check out my Gumroad page and consider subscribing for more helpful resources. Thank you.